trigonometric identity is given then you we can prove very easily by taking LHS <coughs> let us suppose 1 minus sine a as a and cos a as b then we can apply a minus b whole square formula then it will become a square minus 2 a b plus b square a square minus 2 a b plus b square then if we again uh, using uh, use the formula for this and let uh, uh, supposing 1 as a and sine as b then it will become a square minus 2 a b plus b square then <coughs> if open the bracket by multiplying uh, 1 minus sine a by 2 cos a then we will get 2 into 2 cos a into 1 2 cos a minus into minus plus 2 cos a into sine a 2 cos a sine a plus cos a square a then cos a square a then <coughs> in next step uh, uh, 1 square will become uh, 1 and this sine square will be uh, I, I take this sine square here and uh, this cos a square to there and if 2 into 1 into sine is minus 2 sine a and other uh, copy other as it is like 2 cos a and 2 cos a into sine a and <coughs> two sine square plus cos square is equals to 1 so that i write here 1 and uh, write other terms as it is 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 sine a minus 2 cos a plus 2 cos a into sine a if we take the common if we take the two common from here then we will get <coughs> 1 minus 2 sine 1 minus sine a minus cos a plus cos a into sine a and <coughs> if we try to factorize it by taking common 1 here and cos a here we will get this and here is also common 1 minus sine a and 1 minus sine a and if you take again 1 minus sine a common then it will become 1 minus sine a times 1 minus cos a which is equals to RHS proved.